Introduction A natural phenomenon is a non-artificial event in the physical sense and therefore not produced by humans although it may affect humans that is bacteria, aging, natural disasters. Common examples of natural phenomena include volcanic eruptions, lightning and thunder, earthquakes, weather and decay. Most natural phenomena are harmless such as rain. Some natural phenomena such as volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, tsunami and tornadoes are considered dangerous and might lead to death on large scale. Objectives At the end of this lesson you will be able to understand the phenomenon of lighting, analyze the process of charging by rubbing, list the types of charges and their interaction, explain the working of electroscope, describe the causes of lightning, know the safety measures to be followed during lightning, examine the lightning conductors, recognize the cause for earthquakes, identify the precautions to be taken during earthquakes. Lightning. You might have seen sparks on an electric pole when wires become loose. This phenomenon is quite common when a wind is blowing and shaking the wires. You might also have seen sparks when a plug is loose in its socket. Lightning is also an electric spark but on a huge scale. Now of course we understand that lightning is caused by the accumulation of charges in the clouds. Charging by rubbing. Bring a plastic comb near some tiny pieces of paper. What happens? Nothing. The comb will not have any effect on them. Now rigorously rub the comb against your hair and bring it close to the tiny pieces of paper. You will notice that the comb attracts the pieces of paper towards itself. This happens not by magic. There is a clear and logical explanation for such an observation. Initially the comb is electrically neutral. So it has no effect on the tiny pieces of paper. When the comb is rubbed on your hair, it gets electrically charged. This charged comb exerts an electric force on the tiny pieces of paper and attracts them. A glass rod rubbed with a silk cloth and an ebonite rod rubbed with a wooden cloth also acquires the ability to attract small pieces of paper and are said to possess an electric charge. Types of charges and their interaction. Did you ever hear the saying that opposites attract? Well, it's true. Two things with opposite or different charges, a positive and a negative, will attract or pull towards each other. Things with the same charge, two positives or two negatives, will repel or push away from each other. Opposite charges attract each other. For example, a positive charge attracts a negative charge. Like charges repel each other. For example, a positive charge repels a positive charge and a negative charge repels a negative charge. A charged object will also attract something that is neutral. Think about how you can make a balloon stick to the wall. Selectroscope. It is an instrument used to detect and test small electric charges. It works on the principle that like charges repel each other. Uses of an electroscope. Electroscope is used to detect whether a body is charged or not. Touch the brass disc of the electroscope with the given body. If the aluminium leaves diverge, the body is charged. If the leaves do not diverge, the given body is not charged. As you suck the air out, the sound starts fainting. As all the air sucked out, the sound fully faints. This experiment confirms that a medium is required for the propagation of sound. Sound travels through solids. Ask your friend to hit the bench using a stick at one corner. Keep your ear on the bench at the other corner. As your friend hit the bench, you can hear the sound at the other corner. This confirms that sound travels through solids. Lightning. Lightning is an atmospheric electrostatic discharge, spark, accompanied by thunder, which typically occurs during thunderstorms and sometimes during volcanic eruptions or dust storms. 
From this discharge of atmospheric electricity, a leader of a bolt of lightning can travel at speeds of 220,000 km per hour and can reach temperatures approaching 30,000 degrees Celsius, that is 54,000 Fahrenheit. Lightning safety. It is necessary that we need to ensure safety during lightning. Following other steps to get safe from lightning. Avoid water. Avoid the high ground. Avoid open spaces. Avoid all metal objects including electric wires, fences, machinery, motors, power tools, etc. Lightning conductor. The lightning conductor which is also known as lightning rod or air terminal is one of the best known form of shielding device and has been in use in protecting buildings and facilities where protection is mandatory such as storage tanks for petroleum products, warehouses for explosives, etc. The main purpose of the lightning rod is to provide a point well above the structure to be protected with a very good earthed connection so that the lightning energy gets diverted into ground without damaging the structure. It has no role in preventing a lightning occurrence. Earthing. The earthing done for domestic power supply is not at all sufficient for lightning conductor earth. This is evident from the magnitude of currents involved in lightning which is more than two orders of magnitude higher than the domestic supply currents. However, because of the high voltage involved, proportionally heavy earthing is not needed as the voltage itself will drive it into ground. Cone of protection. This is a term used to describe the volume of protection offered and it provides a simple graphical tool for installing a lightning conductor protection system. Arrangement of a lightning rod showing the cone of protection is given in the figure. Earthquakes. The earth is divided into three main layers. A hard outer crust, a soft middle layer and a center core. The outer crust is broken into massive irregular pieces called plates. These plates move over slowly driven by energy forces deep within the earth. Earthquakes occur when these moving plates grind and scrap against each other. The following precautions can be taken to make a safe living. If you are at home, take shelter under a table and stay there till shaking stops. Stay away from tall and heavy objects that may fall on you. If you are in bed, do not get up. Protect your head with a pillow. If you are outdoors, find a clear spot away from buildings, trees and overhead power lines. If you are in a car or a bus, do not come out. Ask the driver to drive slowly to clear spot. Do not come out till the tremors stop. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Some objects can be charged by rubbing with other objects. There are two kinds of charges, positive charge and negative charge. Like charges repel and unlike charges attract each other. The electric charges produced by rubbing are called static charges. When charges move, they constitute an electric current. An electroscope may be used to detect whether a body is charged or not. The process of transfer of charge from a charged object to the earth is called earthing. The process of electric discharge between clouds and the earth or between different clouds causes lightning. Lightning strike could destroy life and property. Lightning conductors can protect buildings from the effects of lightning. An earthquake is a sudden shaking or trembling of the earth. Earthquake is caused by a disturbance deep inside the earth's crust. It is not possible to predict the occurrence of an earthquake. Earthquakes tend to occur at the boundaries of earth's plates. These boundaries are known as fault zones. Destructive energy of an earthquake is measured on the Richter scale. The earthquake measuring seven or more on Richter scale can cause severe damage to life and property. 
We should take necessary precautions to protect ourselves from earthquakes.